everybody. I miss you all so much and I hope everyone is doing well. I was just at, at my mailbox and as you can see, I, I had mail. And the postman left me, what did he leave me? He left me a newspaper and a magazine and all sorts of things and, and something that I don't know. It looks like cloth, cloth. Why would I have cloth in my mailbox? I know. I bet it has to do with what today is. Do you know what today is? Today? That's right, it's Easter. It's the most wonderful holiday of the whole year. I have the story right here in my Bible and I wanna read it to you. So Jesus' friends, they, just heard that he's died and they're gonna go see him can you see that picture we're gonna pick up the story there Jesus's friends were sad they would never see their best friend again how could this happen wasn't Jesus the rescuer the King God had promised it wasn't supposed to end like this yes but whoever said anything about the end just before sunrise, on the third day, God sent an earthquake and an angel from heaven. When the, guardian, when the guards saw the angel, they fell down with fright. The angel rolled the heavy stone away, sat on top of it, and waited. At first glimmer of dawn, Mary Magdalene and other women headed to the tomb to wash Jesus' body. The early morning sun slanted through the ancient olive trees. Drops of dew glittered on leaves and grasses, little tears everywhere. The friends walked quietly on the hilly path and immediately noticed something odd. It was wide open. They peered through the opening into the dark tomb. But wait, Jesus' body was gone. Oh no. Oh, oh look. Look. There's the angel. And something else. A shining man was there with cloths made from lightning. Don't be afraid the angel said, but they couldn't help it. They screamed anyway. The angel asked them, what are you doing here? This is the tomb and tombs are for dead people. The women couldn't speak. Jesus isn't dead anymore, he said. He's alive again. And their hearts leapt and then the angel laughed with such gladness that they felt for a moment as if they had woken from a nightmare. <gasps> Look at them. The other women rushed home, but Mary stayed behind. How could it be true? Jesus was definitely dead. How could he be alive? Just then, Mary heard someone in the garden. Perhaps it's the gardener, she thought. He'll know where Jesus' body is. I don't know where Jesus is, Mary said urgently. I can't find him. But it was all right. Jesus knew where she was, and he had found her. Mary. Only one person said her name like that. She heard her heart thumping. She turned around. She could make out a figure. She shaded her eyes to see and thought she was dreaming. She wasn't dreaming. She was seeing. Jesus? Mary fell to the ground. Suddenly tears filled her eyes and great sobs shook her whole body and she wanted in that moment to cling to Jesus 
and never let him go. Oh my gosh, look. You'll be away, <clears throat> sorry, you'll be able to hold on to me later, Mary, Jesus said gently, and always be close to me. But now go tell the others that I am alive. I have an Easter poem for us to remember our story with. And it goes like this. Palms wave high, like palm trees, on a cross he died. Roll away the stone, a cloth left alone. King Jesus is alive. That's the Easter surprise. Great job, everybody. Well, I've had so much fun with all of you, and before we go, I think we should do our Bible verse. Are you ready? Everybody, get your Bibles. We're going to open them up, and we're going to do our verse. Ready? It's Matthews 28, 6. It goes like this. He isn't here. He is risen. Can you do it one more time with me? Really, really loud. I want to hear you from all your houses. Open your Bible. Matthews 28, 6. He isn't here. He is risen. Great job. Well, I hope you all have a really good Easter, and I hope to see you all really, really soon where we can celebrate together. Bye.